It's common to represent the motion of an object by a graph. A velocity time graph, or VT graph, is a common type of graph. But how do you interpret such a graph? How can you tell the difference between positive and negative velocity? Or between a constant velocity, a changing velocity, and an at-rest object? And how can you tell the difference between speeding up and slowing down? Well, I'm Mr. H, and I have some answers for you. It's not unusual to confuse VT graphs with position time graphs, or PT graphs. For instance, a student could see this type of graph and say, well, that's an object that's at rest. Or this type of graph and say, that's an object moving with a constant velocity. Or this type of graph and say, that's an object that's slowing down. But all these statements are incorrect and result from confusing the two types of graphs. If we were to move all these lines over to the position time graph, they would all be correct. So when you get a graph question, check the vertical axes first to see what's listed there then use the right set of rules for that graph. So let's discuss the rules for VT graphs, beginning with the rule for distinguishing an object moving in the positive direction from one moving in the negative direction. An object moving in the positive direction has a positive velocity. And using our math noodle, we would reason that such an object would be represented by a line in the positive region of the graph, like this horizontal line or these diagonal lines, or even these curved lines. Each of these objects has a positive velocity. And similar reasoning would lead to the conclusion that an object moving in the negative direction is represented by a line in the negative region of the graph, like those lines there. Some objects move with a constant velocity. Others are accelerating or changing their velocity. Using your math noodle, you would reason that a constant velocity motion would be represented by a line that keeps the same velocity value, like these lines here. Horizontal lines represent constant velocity motions. Now consider that there are numbers along the vertical axis. Our three lines represent three different motions. Object A is moving in the positive direction with a speed of 10 meters per second. Object B moves at 5 meters per second in the positive direction, and Object C has a velocity of 0 meters per second. It is at rest or not even moving. You must be careful when the line is in the negative region of the VT graph. Objects D and E are both moving with constant velocity in the negative direction, but Object E is the faster object with a speed of 10 meters per second. Object D is only moving 5 meters per second in the negative direction. So in conclusion, horizontal lines on velocity time graphs represent constant velocity motions. The further that the line is from the V equals zero mark, the faster the object. Slower objects are represented by lines closer to the V equals zero mark. Now let's contrast speeding up motions with slowing down motions, beginning with objects that move in the positive direction, having lines that are in the positive region of the graph. Object A is getting faster. It's speeding up. It starts at rest and finishes with a speed of 10 meters per second. Object B is slowing down or getting slower. It starts at 10 meters per second and eventually comes to a stop. Object C is also speeding up, and Object D is slowing down. They're just changing their speed at a non-uniform rate. Once more, caution is required when the lines are in the negative region. The negative here indicates a direction. Negative 10 meters per second does not mean 10 meters per second less than zero. Rather, the negative indicates that the object is moving in the negative direction, to the left, or downwards, or westward, or however you've defined the negative direction. So negative 10 meters per second is correctly interpreted as moving at a speed of 10 meters per second in the negative direction, such as to the left. Given this reasoning, object E is getting faster. 
It starts at rest and finishes moving at 10 meters per second in the negative direction. It is speeding up. Object D is getting slower. It starts at 10 meters per second and comes to a stop. It is a slowing down object. Objects G and object H are also speeding up and slowing down just at a varying rate. We have one last motion to discuss, a changing direction motion. Once more, you have to use your math noodle on this. An object that changes direction is moving in one direction initially and at a later time is moving in the opposite direction. For instance, it could be moving with positive velocity initially and later moving with a negative velocity, like this, or vice versa, like this. The point in time at which the line crosses from one region to the other region is the point in time at which the object changes its direction. Interpreting VT graphs can be tricky, but knowing your rules and using your math noodle will turn you into a physics wizard. To make sure that you got this, why don't you try one of the interactive exercises on our website? You'll find the links to them in the description section of this video. They're pretty awesome. Hey, I'm Mr. H, and thanks for watching.